What's up you guys? Welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video we're going to be doing a super simple install and that is we're going to be installing Raptor lights on my TRD Pro grill onto my 2018 Toyota Tacoma. So if you guys do have a similar grill you guys can do this install. It's going to be really easy, nothing too hard. I'm going to show you just exactly how to install them onto the grill and just exactly how to wire them up that way you don't mess nothing up. The cool thing about where I got mine which is theyodagarage.com. I'll link them down in the description box below if you want to go ahead and purchase it but the cool thing is that they do offer them in different colors they offer them in amber they offer them in black smoke and they offer them in clear I'm gonna be installing mine in amber just like that and I'll show you how it's done so let's go ahead and get back to the garage and just do it So now that we're back in the garage, we're going to go ahead and install them. Like I stated, I'm going to be installing the amber ones. They do offer them in different colors. If you want to purchase them, they're in the description box below. Once you open your, up your hood, you're going to go ahead and grab, of course, the colored lights that you did get. So they're going to look basically like this. If you got the four or if you got the three, I got the one that has four. So I'm going to have, of course, four lights going across the grill. You just go ahead and figure out where you're going to want to place them. I'm going to start here and then I'm going to skip one and place one, skip one, place one one skip one and place one you're gonna also notice in back of all of these connectors this goes for all the the rest of the lights they do have push-in connectors which I'll show you how to install from the backside once we wire them up as far as for this it's super simple you literally just pop them in nothing too hard so let's go ahead and pop them in right now so make sure it clicks if it clicks you're good so I'm gonna skip one place the next one Pop it in, it clicked. And then the last one is gonna go right about here. All right. And you wanna make sure they're nice and tight so that way they don't fall off when you're driving, of course. As you can tell, it gives it a nice clean look, which I'll show you how it looks at night once we're all done with this. Now let's go ahead and get to the wiring and I'll show you on the backside. All right, up next, you wanna go ahead and get inside your box wherever the Raptor lights came in. You wanna go ahead and unwind the wire harness. This is gonna be pretty much the next step of wiring it up. It's gonna be super simple and nothing too hard. Another key thing to have is make sure you have zip ties for this. You don't really need them, but it's gonna make it for a cleaner install. So let's go ahead and now go back to the truck. We're gonna start working with the wiring. It's gonna be in back of the grill. Up next, now that you've unwind your wire harness, you wanna go ahead and get the connectors that are gonna match up with the back of the Raptor lights. Um, if you notice, on the wire harness and the actual Raptor lights themselves. They have a connection like this, which is watertight. So it's an awesome feature to have. And it only goes in one way. So if you try putting it in and they don't go in, just pull them back out and flip it around and they'll snap in. So let's go ahead and now install them. Clips right in, nothing too hard about it. Make sure you hear the click. Once you hear the click, that's how you know that they're installed properly. So just like that. So as you can tell, I mean, the wiring is all everywhere. So this is why I was saying to get some zip ties. That way maybe you can zip tie it here and zip tie it to this plastic piece here so the wires are not hanging everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that after the whole wiring process just to make sure everything works properly. So now that we've clipped on all the lights, we're gonna go ahead and now run the wiring all the way under. We're gonna put it through the headlight right here just so it's out of the way of everything. And you want to leave some slack because we're going to have to zip tie it later on. So the next thing we're going to go ahead and do now that you ran the wire and connected everything up, uh, you're going to notice you have a red and then you have a black. The black one is going to be your ground bolt and the red one is going to go connected uh, for a positive. So you could tell on the black right here I have this connection and the reason I did it is because we're going to be connecting it over here on this grounding bolt which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but it does not come with this so I picked some up at AutoZone. They were pretty cheap. You can get them at Walmart as well. Basically, it's uh, one of these and it heat, sh heat shrink wraps into it. So I just insert it, hit it with heat shrink, um, and that's it. So that gives you this connection here for the black one. Um, as far as for the positive, it doesn't come with it as well. So you want to go ahead and peel it off. And then what this basically is right here is just an added fuse. I also got this at AutoZone. It's pretty cheap, uh, really affordable. So this is just going to go connected in here. What the added fuse does is just kind of saves you. So if something does go wrong for some weird reason, uh, the fuses will pop before it messes anything electrical up. So put it in there. Let's go ahead and crimp this down. 
and then kind of tug on it, make sure it's not loose or anything. Up next, we're gonna go ahead and look at the Atta Fuse. So you're gonna wanna make sure you have some extra fuses laying around, or if not, you can get some, they're pretty affordable. Um, this is a size 15, we're gonna put that one on the top. And you gotta make sure you get them specific to your vehicle, like these are specific for Toyota Tacomas. We got the 15 in there, and then the next fuse we're gonna be putting is a size 10, and that one's gonna go on the bottom. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up our fuse box and I'll show you what's next. All right, so go ahead and open up your fuse box. Mine's a little harder because I have a lot of wires tucked in. We're gonna flip it around. All right, so right here, what you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and remove this little tool because we're gonna need it. And you're gonna wanna focus right here. Um, right here, you're gonna see 10A and it's gonna say H-LPRH-LO. That's the fuse that we're gonna remove inside the fuse box. It's right next to a 20A. So just letting you know, the 10A is the one we're gonna go ahead and remove. Looking at the fuse box, there's the 20. We're not gonna remove that, but here's the 10. Let's go ahead and take that one out using the tool that is provided with Tacomas. I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out. Let's go ahead and now grab the Atta fuse that we did uh, just make out. And we're gonna go ahead and install that to the truck. So. Push it in all the way, make sure it is secure. All right, and then up next, let's go ahead and grab your negative wire that we did create as well. So now we're gonna be connecting the grounding bolt. It's gonna be right here. Let's go ahead and do that. And the reason I got a connection like this is so that way it can go into the bolt and just kind of stay secure without sliding out. So now that I've connected the ground bolt, uh, now that I connected the actual power of it, we're going to go ahead and test these out. If I turn my headlights on, they're supposed to turn on, so let's figure it out uh, before we put everything back together. So now that everything's installed, I've tested it out. I'm going to go ahead and put the extra fuse that I took out. We're going to go ahead and save that, of course, just in case we ever need it for some odd reason. Um, if you don't want to purchase extra ones, it does come with a 10 and a 15. I purchase extra fuses just in case, you never know. Make sure everything snaps into place. This is really important. You want you don't want water getting into it. But once it snaps into place, we're gonna go ahead and now zip tie the stuff all together so it looks nice and clean. That's how it looks installed. We're gonna go ahead and get you some night shots. Like I said, they offer these in clear, in amber, and also in black uh, smoked. I'll go ahead and connect one right now just so you guys see how it looks. So this one is gonna be the black smoke. So as you can tell, it still has an amber light, but when you of course uh, have it off, it's gonna give you that black smoked look. So it's gonna kind of blend in with the grill. There's also a clear one like this. And let me go ahead and show you how that one looks when it's turned on. Once again, like I said, it's pretty cool that they offer it that color. So this one is just basically gonna be like a 6K LED. So in this one at night, it's gonna look 6K LED. And then when you have it off, it's just gonna look clear. Of course, for me, I like the all ambered look both on and off. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep these ones on, but that's cool that they offer that. So remember, the black smoke is gonna be an amber, and then the clear one is gonna be like a 6K LED. So just depending on your style and preference on what you want, they have that to offer. All right, so now that it's nighttime, I'm gonna just show you guys. So it is gonna be kind of hard to see them, of course, uh, because I have the exposure kind of pulled down. Uh, for what they are, they are pretty bright. And once again, like I had stated, they do come in different colors and you can still get them in amber. Uh, if you do wanna purchase them, it's gonna be in the description box below. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.